in this moment, be with us in our efforts to share our life, imbue us with divine strength, divine courage, and divine faith, that as we are lighted, may we be a light unto the world. I am grateful for this opportunity to join you in this coming together of hearts and minds to perfect something in our own knowing, to perfect a way of being with each other. One primary objective of the human will is to come together. to create a space that allows the sacred in us to be united with the sacred in the other. This attentiveness, <coughs> this sacred power that emanates from you right now, this substance that allows us to hold this space and do something with it, create a shared understanding This power that comes from you that is able to create a reality that allow all of us to enter it and say we share something in common. This unique creative intention that is uniquely human, I'm grateful that you are collectively using it here to create this presence that something could become true in it. I thank Emma for this introduction of what I do in the world. And I'm also often asked, what is it that I do? And in reflection, In an honest reflection, I can say I try to be myself. I try to be myself with others. And that means that I have to give a certain level of attentiveness to use my creative life in such a way that I allow others to be themselves. And in this creative, imaginative space, we develop agreements of how to share our world. Beyond that, I'm preparing myself to be able to do the most difficult thing, to be with another person intentionally. to understand what I can't do to create a reality on my own. I'm interested in how reality becomes, how it forms, how it supports the healing of the human individuality and the creating of community whereby we sustain that healing and bring our gifts into the world. So my primary uh, interest is healing. And that started for me many, many, many years ago when I was trying to understand what in the human being makes healing possible. So I went into medicine, I went into studying medicine and realized that it was not providing me the, the truth about what and how I need to be with someone who is suffering. At least when I started that, there was not that place. And it was in the individual 
relational space with a friend who was dying that I found what I needed to experience to be able to sustain this kind of question. How do I have to be in order for you to be? What must I be doing with my will in order for the healing potential of another person to be awakened? Ralph Waldo Emerson put forth this idea. He said, there's a power in love to divine another's destiny better than that other can, and with heroic encouragement, hold him to his task. It was in this difficult life circumstance with a good friend as he was dying that I understood what is meant by love. How do we bear something for the other while they seek this creative expression we call healing? And where does healing lead? For me, those were the questions that brought my work deeply into my life. And why I'm here? I'm here with the interest of what we must do with love. <clears throat> How do we use it in seeing into each other's destiny and how we can utilize the conceptual frameworks that arises out of this heart force to make agreements that not just sustain our own striving but sustain communal life that allows us to hold the complexities of creation cultural creation and natural creation. So my talk today is about love. It is essentially human. It is our birthright. It is our first agreement. To love something so much that we give our life to it. To participate in the awakening of these creative soul forces that is not born out of knowledge <coughs> or any other given, but something that is awakened because we are willing to bear the task. sometimes out of suffering. And separation and the difficult life circumstances that meet us. And then we meet something in ourselves as a question that reminds us that there is something we have, born with, gifted with, that we can supplement our will in order to accomplish the task before us.